Thanks, Jody. I'm the remediated version of Jody. Uh, can't tell you how thrilling that is, but uh, more about that in a moment. When we're talking about screen culture and digital media, what do we mean when we're talking about immediacy, hypermediacy, and remediation? Okay, I think immediacy is how much the user or interactor forgets the medium in favour of the content or the task. Boy, I can't wait. So, when watching a film in a cinema, immediacy would be referring to how engrossed a person is in the storytelling. My God, you must really love this picture. Me? You've been here all day, and I've seen you here twice before. You mean me? Yes! You and at the same time, how little that person is thinking about things like film techniques, such as special effects or editing. Filmmaker Woody Allen had some fun with the concept in his classic film, The Purple Rose of Cairo. Maybe you should just turn the projector off. No, no, don't turn the projector off. No, no, it gets black and we disappear. Maybe you turn the projector off. Green Another example is when sitting at a computer screen using a software program, immediacy would be referring to a low level of conscious use of tools such as the mouse, the keyboard and menu commands. The less intrusion of these tools into the awareness, the higher the level of immediacy experienced. We all know someone who's an expert at a particular software program. Well, when they're using it, they would be experiencing a high level of immediacy because their expertise with the program's functions frees up their conscious thinking to focus on the content or other intellectual demands. So I just get some coffee and tell some stories how I save your ass every day and you can't remember without me. I got coffee. Thank you. Danny Whitman, tween for the Fed. Whoops, got him. Immediacy is also known as transparency, and as an artistic practice, it's been going on for ages. As far back as the Roman times, artists have been having a go at it. The Trompe Loy painting and mural employ two techniques common to all versions of immediacy and transparency linear perspective and what's called erasing the surface. Today's virtual reality programming, perhaps the most extreme attempts of immediacy, express these same two techniques of linear perspective and erasing the surface, but obviously in a digital realm. Okay, hypermediacy. It's the technique of multiple and concurrent acts of representation on the same visual plane. Once again, the practice is not new. Michelangelo's paint job on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel depicting different stories from the Bible is an example from the Renaissance era. I believe hypermediacy has really come of age in the digital era. While the desktop metaphor was an attempt at immediacy on the computer screen, the Windows environment is a hypermediated form with the potential of lots of windows containing content open concurrently. Since then, the technique has cross-pollinated into other formats, TV, gaming, in web design as an answer to the challenges faced by information architects. And in cinema, it's known as spatial montage, which the guys talked about in the tutorial last week. So I thought an interesting point made by the media theorists in our course manual is that hypermediacy is a counterbalance to immediacy. That is, immediacy is all about the user forgetting that they're interacting with a medium, while hypermediacy is the opposite. A user is extremely aware that they are interacting with a medium. I'm not sure I agree. I think user sophistication is getting to a point of hypermediated immediacy. At any rate, I believe that hypermediacy is a defining characteristic of online interaction. Just check out this YouTube page. It's a very nice example of hypermediacy. And as an observer sitting there, think about how much information you have access to all at once, just at a glance. And that's before you've even started clicking on links and opening new windows. And then there's Facebook, which uses hypermediacy to enhance the notion of a popularity contest, allowing a user in a number of different ways to view how many friends they've got and how many networks they connect to. So for me, digital hypermediacy is all about concurrent connection to lots of different information. So finally, remediation. 
It's the act of absorbing and repurposing media into another media format. Or as I've come to think of it, regurgitation. It's so prevalent these days, I found that at first it can be really hard to focus on as a concept because it's in your face, it's everywhere. We live in a remediated culture. Do you know, a short while after I started reading and thinking about remediation, I had this sudden and big self-realisation which forced me to reassess a huge part of my own professional history. But to explain what I'm talking about, I'm going to hand over from my remediated self in my hyper-mediated environment to my flesh and blood self in the old school face-to-face -face environment. Over to you, Jodie. Pleasure.